Hi, I'm O. Today I would like to share with you load estimation from slab using year line base method. My second part of the video will explain on how to use table 3.16 BS8110 Part 1 1997 for load estimation from slab. First of all, we need to classify slabs before we estimate loads from them. BS8110 defines slab as two-way when the ratio LY over LX, the longest span to the shorter span, is less than or equal to 2, and one-way when the ratio is greater than 2. In this method, we need to know the yield pattern or yield line for the slab of interest. These are the common year line for the two-way and one-way slab restrained at four edges. To note, angle between the inclined year line to the edge of the slab is assumed as 45 degree in two-way slab. The construction of year line is not described in the video. Then we need to identify region and calculate its area that will contribute to the beam of interest. For a two-way slab, the highlighted regions will contribute load to beam C and beam D, and the area equations can be obtained using area of triangle. Now, the highlighted is the region that will contribute to beam A and beam B, and the equation can be obtained using area of trapezium. For one-way slab, the highlighted is the region that will contribute to beam A, and the same area will contribute to beam B, and the equation can be obtained using area equation of a rectangle. Then we can determine the total design loads from the area. Let's solve a problem here. Estimate the load from slab to beam C. First, we need to determine the design load and in kilonewton per meter square using factors recommended by Eurocode 2. Then we can obtain the design load in kilonewton F by multiplication of the design area load with the area of interest. Lastly, we divide the F with the span of beam C. The span for beam C is LX. Now we have obtained the load W. And beam C can be idealized as shown. Remember, W is only the design load from the slab shown. Designer need to consider other design loads, such as surfweight of the beam is compulsory. For other slab loads, brick wall load, and concentrated loads if there are any. I end my video on estimation of slab load using year line based method. See you in my next video.